that's the way it is. And I'm just going to take the meat off of these rib bones and you can kind of see these are the rib bones that you would not make short ribs out of because they really don't have much meat on them. But we'll get down a little bit further and you'll get into some better ribs. I'll show you here in just a minute when it's all done. Be able to see how the meat thickens up on the one end. Try to strike a little balance here. I don't want to take all the meat off because I don't want the hyenas to be mad at me. Remember when I was younger, I used to just work so hard at making this all clean that. If there was an animal coming around after me, he'd starve to death trying to pick the bones. But I think you could make some pretty good soup with what I leave behind now. Anyway, there's a lot of different ways of doing this, but this is the way I do it when I don't want to use a... Uh, And I don't want to use a, uh, a knife, I mean a uh, saw. So anyway, here we go. Tell you a little bit about short ribs. This laid on here like this, and this was the end up towards the loin, and this is the end down towards the chuck. And if you were cutting short ribs off of this, this is kind of a tough beef for my knives are dull. But Anyway, you would see that the further down you go, the less meat there is on these ribs. I guess it's not that evident, but on a fat beef it would be more evident that this would be mostly fat. But your best ribs are the ones up towards the chuck. So there you go.